Hello CE Kids! Welcome back to CE Kids Online. I'm very glad that you guys are able to join us. I'm glad that you guys were able to click on this video or perhaps your parents, you know, are making you watch this, but trust me, we're gonna have a fantastic time together and I'm glad that you guys are able to welcome us in your homes or perhaps in the car, wherever you are. But before we get into today's lesson and whatever other things we have for today, we gotta get ready for the worship. So I need you all to rise, stand up, get ready to give all that you have to give worship and praise to our God. Who's ready? Who's ready? Who's ready? All right, let's do this. In the eye of the storm Wow, that was an awesome, awesome time worshiping God. I hope you guys enjoyed, you know, the worship. I hope you guys were able to worship, were able to sing with all that you have we're able to you know do all the movements because it's all for the glory of god so i'm glad that you guys were able to once more join us and it's time for the best part of this video the lesson so get ready sit tight it's a very short but really you know understandable and hopefully you guys can take something from this lesson so let's give it up for hermana diana Hello kids, welcome back from worship. I hope you enjoyed today's worship and I hope you actually sang along and got up and praised God. Now it's time for today's Bible story. Today's Bible story takes place in the last book of the Bible, the book of Revelations, which was written by John the Baptist. I hope you guys still remember who John the Baptist is. So the book of Revelations was written by John the Baptist when he was very old. He was a prisoner at the island of Patmos. This was a prisoner island. He was a prisoner because he couldn't stop telling others about Jesus. Not because he couldn't, not because he did something wrong. It was just because he couldn't stop telling others about Jesus. So let me show you a picture of John in this island when he's very old and he's in this island. So one day he heard a loud noise. He heard a loud noise and a voice that said, write down everything you're about to see. So he turned around to see who it was and it turned out that it was Jesus. The same Jesus he had walked with, the same Jesus that he had baptized. John got down on his knees and lay down at Jesus' feet. Jesus reached down and touched John and told him, Write down everything you're about to see. And the 22 chapters in the book of Revelations is everything Jesus showed John. But today we're going to focus on chapter 21 and 22. And John describes what, sh what Jesus showed him as a new heaven and a new earth. He said it was a beautiful place with a golden throne, a throne made out of gold. 
a crystal clear river and streets made out of gold and this place was full of angels he also saw people praising god and he also says he he saw god wiping away the tears of the people which means that the, at this place there will be no more crying no more sadness no more pain and no more death he, something caught his eye he realized that there was so much light in this place but there was no sun or no moon but he later realized that it was god's glory giving this place light he describes that we will get to see god's face and we will live there forever and ever and we will be happy i think this sounds like a beautiful place i would love to go to this place so john doesn't know when these things will happen and we don't know either but we know that this place is there and we will get to be there the people that trust in god and the people that believe in god and the people that follow jesus will be in this place we don't know when we don't know how we don't know exactly the dates or time but we can be sure that this place exists and that this place is there for us this brings us down to our bottom line which is following jesus will turn out greater than you can imagine so i think this story is perfect for what we're facing today in this pandemic and this COVID-19, this virus. And I know maybe some of you guys know somebody that got sick, that got the virus, or maybe some of you even know somebody that passed away from the virus. And I hope this story helps you understand a little bit of how things will turn out in the end for the people that believe in God. And this is just a little bit of hope for all of us to know that there is a better place for us for believing in God and trusting God and I know things are hard right now but I just want you to remember that God has better things for us at the end and even if somebody that we know has passed away in this place we will all meet again we will get to see the people that have passed away again and we will be there forever and we will never again die and we will get to be with God and praise God so I hope today you learned something i hope you like the story i hope you want to go to this place because i do i want to get to this place so now let's pray and thank god for today's story thank you god for today's story thank you because you have promised to have a better place for us thank you because even though things may seem a little hard right now we can still trust you and we can still believe that you have better things for us Thank you for showing this things that will happen in the future to John and because now we get to actually have an idea of how things will be. Thank you for today's lesson. Thank you for everything you do for us. Thank you for protecting us and our families. We love you, God, and we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, guys, now it's time for your Bible verse and your activities with Brandon. I hope you guys enjoyed today lesson, today's lesson. See you guys next time. Thank you, Diana, for the lesson for today. It was grand. It was just so amazing. And also, I bet many of you guys were like, whoa, there's a place out there that a road is made out of gold. Whoa, I want to go there. Who doesn't want to go there? And the one way we can arrive at that destination, be there, at our house basically is by following Jesus, focusing on Jesus. And the one way we can focus and help us focus is by reading his word. It's like our lens. This is what help us see in this world because sometimes we might be lost. Sometimes we might be doing wrong. This helps us. This guides us. This lets us know what's wrong and right and lets us know what we should do. And when we read this word, we are able to focus on Jesus much, 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 much more. And I know that many of you guys want to focus on Jesus much more throughout these months that we have been talking about focus. And the one person, one person that we got to focus on, you know, now especially is on Jesus. And that's what we need to focus on more because when we focus on Jesus, he changes everything. Trust me, Jesus changes everything. Everything. So who's with me to focus on Jesus? 
I'm gonna be focusing on Jesus. So now that we have done the lesson for today with Hermana Diana, it's time for the Bible verse, which is in Ephesians 2, 8. And it says, God's grace has saved you because of your faith in Christ. Your salvation doesn't come from anything you do. It's God's gift. It's God's gift. Isn't that amazing? So now I hope that you guys have that memorized. So I'm going to give it up to Hermana Wendy. This is the same video from last week that she gave you guys some steps, some movements to practice and memorize this Bible verse so that you can keep this in your heart, you know, for the years and days to come. So now I'm going to give it up for Hermana Wendy for the movements for this Bible verse. All right. So I'm going to show you some steps. So it's going to help you, like I said, to memorize the Bible verse. All right. So God's grace has saved you because of your faith in Christ. Your salvation doesn't come from anything you do. It is God's gift. Ephesians 2, 8. All right, perfect. Thank you, Edmana Wendy, for the movements for the Bible verse. Hopefully, hopefully that helped you guys, you know, memorize it, that Bible verse. So hopefully in the future, we can have more movements for other verses because I know that the three to five year olds do have movements, but the six to 11 year old Bible verses don't have it. So we got to make our own. So if we make our own, I hope those movements, you know, really do justice and really help you guys memorize those Bible verses. So you might be asking, what do we do now? What are we gonna do now? So, because it's the last week of the month, I always play two songs, so why not, or repeat the song, but this time I'm gonna play a different song. So why not stand up, get up with your family or by yourself, wherever you are, and get ready for one more worship. And after the worship, and Mana Wendy has an announcement. So I want you to be prepared and you know be still watching this video after the Bible, uh, after the the songs. But first, let's worship God one last time. So let's all rise to give glory to God one last time. Let's do this.
perfect that was amazing i hope you guys enjoyed this whole day you know with the worship with the lesson with the mana and diana thank you and also in mana wendy for the movements and i'm going to give it up to in mana diana i mean in mana wendy one more time for an announcement she has and i want you guys to keep this announcement in your calendars and it's gonna be really soon so Please listen, 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 and let your parents know. So now with hermana Wendy. Dios les bendiga, padres de familia de C Kids del Ministerio de Niños de nuestra iglesia Centro Evangelístico. Quiero invitarles para el próximo domingo 2 de agosto de 2 y media a 4 de la tarde a un drive-thru ice cream, donde usted podrá pasar con su niño en su vehículo por un helado aquí afuera de las instalaciones de nuestra iglesia. También quiero recordarles que cada domingo a las 7 de la noche nos reunimos virtualmente por medio de Zoom para que su niño pueda repasar la lección que nosotros preparamos por medio de nuestro canal de YouTube. Espero que ya pueda eh, se haya suscrito y que su niño pueda estar escuchando las lecciones de Escuela Dominical cada domingo. Hermanos, Dios les bendiga, disfrute de su día y muchas bendiciones. All right, perfect. That's right. You heard right. We are doing a drive through ice cream. So I hope you guys place that in your calendars or maybe just remind yourself because it's literally next week. So make sure you come. So also don't forget to join today our Zoom at seven. I hope to see all of you guys there. I hope to see all of you guys. So I want you in the comment section to type up, focus on Jesus, focus on Jesus because Jesus is our main priority. That is someone that we should be able to follow and also read the word constantly. So focus on Jesus is something I want you to put in the Bible verse. So thank you guys once more for joining C Kids Online and I can't wait for next month to see you guys one more time. And until then, God bless you guys. Thank you kids for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed the lesson and that you got to practice the Bible verse and gave all the praise to the Lord with our worship song. Don't forget to click like. And if you have not subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. All right. Uh, take care. May God bless you and keep you. And don't forget to wear your face mask, to wash your hands. And if you go outside to the store, to the park, keep hand sanitizer with you. All right. Take care. I send you a big hug. And we'll see you next week.